Hello and welcome. Today I am going to make a new way of painting in Photoshop that will be very simple with no sketch needed. If you are zero at sketching skills, this video is for you. So let's begin. I am in Photoshop and here as you know, if you have seen, I love to paint in different layers. So I made a new layer and quickly going to select a selection here with zero feathers and lesser tool like this. So make a selection around. I'm just doing this with the basic pen with a one by Wacom tablet. You could easily do it with also the mouse also and in that particular layer I'm just going to fill up with a base color like this and making another layer below it I'm going to make another selection and filling it up in a similar way Hit Ctrl D for deselection. I'm quickly going to select a few area over the upper part of the sketch. Like this. At random selection, I'm just going to fill it with a different color. Using the color fill bucket, I'm just picking the color from the basic swatch panel and filling it up here. Making another selection over here. And in the way, I'm just painting the color. After this, I'm just going to make a few detail, like it's upward, it's downward, that particular kind of texture. Again, with a similar selection tool, I selected like this. And now, with a mixer brush tool, and now with a mixer brush tool, I'm just going to smudge the details a little. I'm using the soft round brush, as you can see, and just painting like this. If you wonder how the selection works but not appears, the trick is very simple. Hit Ctrl H when you are having the selection. This will hide the selected ants. Either you can just Ctrl J but that looks odd. So I am just going to make another selection over here and do the same process. If you haven't subscribed me yet, hit the subscribe button right now to never miss any such videos on how to paint digitally in Photoshop. So now I'm going to make a smudger detail in all over the artwork. For that I just selected the complete artwork in that particular layer and just painting it or you can say smudging it around with the same mixer brush. You can do it on your own. You can just go ahead and have fun while painting and mixing up the color of your artwork. You can see how simple it is without any previous sketch or anything that demands any sketching skills. We are here painting our nice looking artwork. So once I'm pretty done with the details, I'm going to select the base layer 
and here again I am just making a few details as I did in the upper part. But you can see it's very it's very subtle right now. It's not having any such bigger bigger details. So I am just making a quick selection with that same lasso tool, but this time with a 20 pixels feather. So hit Ctrl U for the hue saturation panel, and I'm quickly going to increase the saturation level. Hit OK once you are satisfied and make another quick selection on another area. Here I want the darkness to be shown with that same 10 pixel or 20 pixel feather you, as you wish. Just you can play with the saturation and the lightness. With the decreasing the lightness, it increases the darkness. So it's quite nice. Now I'm quickly going to select this downside of the upper part of my ice cream and hit control U again increasing the saturation but also decreasing the lightness makes it a nice 3d effect or you could say the shadows and in the other part that opposite one i am just making it a brighter and lighter in the same way it's quite looking now great, I must say. For the center details also, I'm just going to make the 10 pixels feather and oops, um, just make a nice selection. Play with the saturation and lightness as we did earlier. And you can see this is making a much much bigger effect. This is making our object pop up as a 3D. Like really that's a bigger thing over there. Similarly on this part also. And we are pretty done with our entire artwork as you can see. I hope you guys found it interesting and if yes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for this video and share it with your friends.